Hello everyone, uh, this is Faisal Hussain and I am um, here in Rome, Italy, currently pursuing my final year masters in aerospace engineering. Uh, before uh, getting into the video, I would like to show you this. These are the streets of Rome, I mean not typically the streets of Rome, the streets of my backyard, which are currently like a ghost town right now. I mean there used to be kids playing around here and there used to be a lot of noise. But then now there's no one. Now we know why this is going on. This is because of the coronavirus pandemic. And not only Italy, there are around 212 countries that are facing the wrath of this virus. So it's on a global level very critical. And uh, I would like to share few, uh, you know, share few statistics regarding the, the condition here in Rome due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now if I will take you back two months ago, uh, the situation was quite intense because the numbers were quite high. I mean, per day around 10,000 new cases or 12,000 new cases. It was quite terrifying, to be very honest. I thought that this was the end of the world. <laughs> but uh, if I see the current situation now, the number of cases have decreased uh, to about 6%. And uh, before, on an average, around 900 people used to die. And uh, as of now, as of today, around uh, 300 to 400 people die although people are dying but uh, it's quite less and this is a hope that things are healing here and italy is slowly slowly healing um this is uh, this is giving me a lot of hope so one request to students whoever uh, want to pursue their masters ahead and abroad is that please don't lose your hope because uh, this is not the time where we lose our hope although the situation looks helpless but then it's about time that you know all the countries start healing up like Italy because uh, uh, you know the pattern is quite simple every country faces a peak and the peak slowly decreases so Italy has already faced it the peak is gone now we are slowly healing and so will be the situation for other countries so all we need to do is just give it some time and make sure that situation heals up on its own and it's about time that you know all the countries start healing and uh, things get back to normal uh, we are currently in a world where the world has hit a pause button right now but then I seriously hope that we resume as soon as possible uh, now I seriously feel bad for students who have applied for their masters to other countries and now they are stuck because they are not able to you know go to the countries and get their course started uh, i'm really sorry for those people but then uh, i would request them to just uh, you know stay sharp gather as much information as possible and uh, just look for the correct time to you know uh, resume things um, now it's been over 80 days i've been at home and i literally forgot how it seems like outside and uh, I know it's 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 very difficult to hear, right? But then uh, our government here is giving us few privileges, like uh, they're not taking a month's rent, the current month's rent, uh, the house wherever I'm staying at. So I don't need to pay for a month. And moreover, that they are giving us food coupons and watches to shop at the grocery store. And now that's the only place where we go now, <laughs> due to the COVID-19. We don't go to malls now. It's only about grocery store. So yeah. Things are healing and uh, I would like to end it on note saying that uh, just give it time and uh, just pray that the world gets back to normal. Alright, thank you so much. Lots of love from Italy and all the very best.